everybody, Mercat here. And as requested, today I'm gonna give you 8 spirit tea hacks that you might wanna try for an efficient first month. So without further yada yada, let's dive right to it. Number 1. If you don't plan to open the bathhouse for a whole day, it's best to cut the remaining daily wood off of the roots. This is because you can only get a couple of wood per day and you would also need it to repair the hot springs bridge. Cutting the spare daily wood would be really handy if you choose to open the bathhouse for much longer on other days so that you wouldn't run out of wood and you also get to extend your working period. Number 2. If you did admit it and are wondering where the heck to store all of those wood or some other stuffs in general, then you can just drop them down and get them back whenever you need them. I even do this for more stuffs like forage items and spare food. This is so you can pick them up and eat it whenever you need stamina because things that you drop don't really disappear in spirit tea. Number 3. Since I mentioned the wood thing earlier and how it's important to hoard them, you might also want to cut all of the wood first until you max it out every day if you are planning to upgrade an area in the bathhouse. This is because you wouldn't be able to open for business when Faye is working on the upgrade, which means that you would lose a whole day. Just cut the roots until it stops giving you wood, and then you can head over to Faye's to proceed with the upgrade. Number 4. Friendship is very important in Spirit Tea because once you've gained enough friendship, you can invite the NPCs over and they will lend you a hand with a bathhouse. So it's really good to build relationships on days when the bathhouse is closed, like when you have Faye upgrading it. And the best method to quickly make friends is by doing the minigames. Just make sure that you have some spare cash because it's gonna cost a bit to do the minigames. It's really quick to get friendship by eating or drinking together. Just don't waste your money on the karaoke. Trust me, that minigame sucks. Number 5. If you want to make friends without spending any money though, then you can just talk to them 1-3 to three times a day or invite them to hang out through simpler joys in life like bug hunting, digging, and fishing. You can also love bump the pets and they will give you some weird gifts whenever you reach a new relationship milestone. Number 6. As much as I'd love to cover all of the spirits compatibility, there's a hecking lot of them and it's gonna take a whole other video for that. So what you can do if you're not sure and don't wanna risk it is to place the spirits a couple of tiles apart. That way, they wouldn't get fully bothered by each other. Or if you have separate bats, then you can put the similar kinds or known compatible spirits together. Number 7. You know how dirty the bathhouse is at the beginning? And if that's something that's really bothering your soul like it did on mine, then it's best to clean up earlier in game because you wouldn't have time for that once you repair more parts of your bathhouse. There's also a lot to clean, so... Yep, have fun! Number 8. You might also want to invest on more towels whenever you unlock more bats. This way, you can cater more spirits and you wouldn't have to go back and forth too much with washing and drying your towels. And that's about it! Check out our Discord channel to join our awesome community events every Sunday or our YouTube membership and Patreon for more exclusive content. Don't forget to boop that like and subscribe for more Indian cozy game discoveries coming your way. Bye bye